Hi, this is Kenny Xue speaking. Uh, in this section, we're going to talk about uh, the temperature effect on cell voltage. In previous uh, section, we we'll mentioned uh, the cell voltage you can calculate from thermodynamic property such as the uh, free energy. This one, this section, we're going to talk about uh, what about at other temperature besides at a standard condition, 25 Celsius degree, and how to calculate uh, at other temperature. This one, we use a uh, uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell as an example. At a standard condition, 25 degree, one atmosphere pressure, the cell voltage is uh, supposed to be 1.23 volt over here. But what about if you want to calculate the other temperature, but at the same uh, pressure, what about other, other temperature, the cell voltage? And from the, we can find the thermodynamics, the cell voltage equal to delta G over NF. So if we know those value at other temperature, we can calculate the cell voltage at other temperature like this. So the first thing we had to do is try to see uh, how we can uh, uh, calculate the entropy change at other temperature and the entropy change at other temperature. If we know this, then we can calculate the cell voltage at other temperature. Before we do, doing that, we see for a single species, a species I, how the entropy change as a function of temperature. This one we can integrate, this is specific heat of a single species. Usually this one can be found on the table. Uh, you can, uh, they, they've been tested as a function of temperature. Uh, you can fit or some table at your list as a polynomial a function of temperature. So uh, usually you can find out the A, I, B, I, C, I, the number here and then substitute into uh, this equation integrated, you got the uh, species uh, I at other temperature. So you can substitute that um, to do the integration. This is for pure single species I. Then we can, from, since we know the single species I, the enthalpy uh, at a different temperature, then we can calculate the, the entire electrochemical reaction, the heat of formation, or the heat of reaction uh, at other temperature. That means over here, we know individual species at other temperature, then we can calculate the overall uh, entropy change at other temperature. So we can substitute um, the equation from previous slide and then put in for different kinds of uh, different species, we can calculate the entire uh, heat direction as a function of temperature. So this is uh, uh, for the water, as you can see the enthalpy for the water and then the enthalpy for the hydrogen and the enthalpy for the oxygen, you just substitute like this equation. And all this you can find uh, from the, the table the thermodynamic physics table, you can find those coefficients subs into and do the calculation. Uh, for simplicity, we can lump all the A parameter together into a single term, and then the term involved B into a single term. That means over here, we can put all the A uh, into a single term over here, and then B and then C, rearrange the equation. So all this, this one will be the, uh, change your enthalpy at a standard condition. This one we can abbreviate as a delta A, delta B, and delta C. So the above equation, we can become uh, rewrite like this into a simple form. And then we can perform the integration. After the integration, we get uh, uh, the enthalpy change from a standard condition to any other temperature, we can get uh, the, the equation here for any other temperature. But the delta A, delta B, delta C is according to this. So however the reaction rate, uh, reaction equation uh, you have, then you can substitute the same similar uh, written and over there, then you can do calculate delta A, delta B, delta C and substitute into this equation. 
Uh, this is the enthalpy change. What about entropy? Entropy can be uh, calculated from this equation. So the same situation, the CP will substitute like a previous. Um, we can substitute those uh, uh, specific heat uh, into this equation. Then we can do the integration. We end up this um, entropy change. The entropy change over here. So we got an entropy change and entropy change. Then we can calculate the free energy change from this equation. So the free en free uh, energy change we can substitute and then get this equation. So at a, this is the um, free energy at a standard condition, and then this is the um, delta H, and the um, and then this is delta H and this is T delta S right over here. You can do the calculate and then calculate at the other temperature the free energy. And if we know the free energy at other temperature, then you can calculate the cell voltage as this slide. So the, the delta H, delta S calculate, then delta G you can calculate. This one I plot the delta H or delta G as a function of temperature. This is the delta H uh, for for as the water is liquid phase. But if the water generally is a gas phase, then it's this line. This is the uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is the delta H for the uh, water is liquid phase uh, for the as a liquid phase. And if the water is a gas phase, the delta H is this line, the red line. And then the delta G over here, right over here. Um, because if water is a liquid phase, they not go at a normal one atmosphere pressure, then it will not exceed 100 Celsius degree. So it's only going to write, uh, not going to calculate above 100 Celsius degree. This is delta H and this is delta G. You can see that delta G is more dependent on temperature than the delta H. And this one can be more clearly see for the on the gas phase. This is delta H. The delta H as a gas phase, and this is the delta G as a gas phase. You can see the delta H almost independent of temperature, but the delta G is decline as the temperature going higher. The delta G decrease. That's because if you assume this is a constant, the delta G reduce decrease as the temperature increase because this term is minus T delta S. So. Um, if you really do a very accurate calculation, you can you had to use uh, like uh, the equation uh, or the calculation procedure I mentioned before. But as a for rough calculation, you can assume this is a constant because they don't really change too much over here. The important uh, temperature effect on the delta G is this term, the T over here. So you can assume at a uh, uh, standard condition, substitute the delta H, delta S in there, and then just multiply by T, you can calculate the delta G at other temperature. But this one just approximation. If you really want to do more accurate, you have to follow the procedure um, in the previous slides. So we can calculate the effect of the temperature on the cell voltage. So we can calculate the cell voltage. And this is the plot. And uh, this is uh, the uh, calculation based on high heating value. Let me assume the water is generated as a liquid form. But if water generated as a gas form, then will be go something like this. So at a different temperature, you can see at a higher temperature, the cell voltage going down. Uh, this was predicted by the thermodynamics calculation. So for the pen fuel cell, it's operating somewhere around close to 80 to 90 degree. So its cell voltage is somewhere around 1.1, somewhere around this region, 1.15, somewhere here. For fast rate acid fuel cell, it's operating around 205. So the cell voltage slightly decreased lower than the pen fuel cell. For the MCFC molten carbonate fuel cell, it's operating around the 650 degree, somewhere that range or 605. So the, the cell voltage will decrease further. And for SOC, uh, it will decrease much lower because of that 
operation temperature somewhere around 80, 800 to 1,000 degree. So from a uh, thermodynamic point of view, it's a pre, uh, it tell me say that I should operate at a lower temperature because lower temperature I can get a higher cell voltage. But in reality, uh, the fuel prefer operate at higher temperature because uh, there's another factor, reaction kinetics. At a high temperature, the reaction kinetics is more active. The voltage loss due to the reaction will be reduced by raising the temperature. Thermodynamics only tell you the ideal case. Uh, you cannot exceed uh, this cell voltage. But the kinetics will tell you uh, how much uh, cell voltage loss due to you start uh, drawing the current. So um, that's why for the pen fuel cell or phosphor air fuel as the fuel cell, these two different fuel cells, they operate at a relative lower temperature. So they have to use platinum as a catalyst. But this one at a high temperature, they can use nickel, cobalt, other uh, non noble metal as a catalyst. And also uh, for this one, because the kinetic relative sluggish or kinetic reaction rate is relatively slow. So uh, they have to use nearly pure hydrogen. If you use a hydrocarbon uh, as a fuel, then you have to go through a reformer, convert that hydrocarbon material into hydrogen, then you can feed into the fuel cell. But for this uh, fuel cell, actually, you can use even the carbon dioxide as a fuel. It's OK. So uh, thermodynamics tells us what is the ideal case, the maximum you can reach. But the ration kinetics, you had to consider ration kinetics, will tell you what happened in, in when you start the ration. You start withdraw the, the battery, the cell, fuel cell start discharge. Oh, so this one uh, tell you the temperature effect um, on the cell voltage. Next, we're going to talk about the pressure effect.